Hi, this is my first time making a YouTube video. And the reason that I'm making this video is because my father recently passed away and I had a, like a lot of weird um, questions or things that people asked me. Um, it just, just kind of didn't sit well with me. So I wanted to discuss it. Maybe the do's and don'ts of when somebody is dealing with the death of a loved one. First thing, um, don't question the decisions that they make in regarding to like a funeral. Um, I know as black people, we usually, um, after the funeral, uh, well, I'm sorry, let me back up. First of all, usually funerals are at churches. And if the funeral is not at a church, then um, people just automatically assume that the person didn't attend a church home. And that's not true. It's just what the family member, uh, whoever is making the funeral, planning the funeral, wanted to do if there were no instructions from the person who has passed away. Secondly is people, uh, black people, we usually have like food after the funeral, we eat like a repast or whatever. Um, sometimes people don't want to do that because they don't uh, want to get together with people. They just, it's just a lot of different reasons. Um, also, um, burying a person versus cremation doesn't necessarily mean that if a person is cremated that there wasn't enough money to bury the person it just again is the choice of either the person has passed away or their family member the most important one i believe is that a person um that you don't inherit all of this money when somebody passes away uh people would just seem to think that you come into um a lot of money and that's not true and then also, which is so sad too, as well as people think that you're super vulnerable and they can begin to ask you things or beg for the person that's passed away things, uh, car, um, appliances, just things that's just, that should be like off limits. Some people, I guess they don't have compassion or they just, I just feel like it's tacky and if you don't know any better, hopefully this video helps you uh, from a person who recently lost a parent. Today is like the one month anniversary that my father has passed away. And it just was on my heart to, to you know, to talk about it. Um, just don't question certain things. If you're going to attend the funeral, attend the funeral or wherever it is at the funeral home, at a church, um, the programs. If the, a person didn't come to the funeral, they don't, I mean, they don't get a program. I'm sorry. Um, also, um, if you're not putting any money into anything, I don't think you should really have an opinion. The person is already under a tremendous amount of stress because I know I was because I've never planned a funeral. I don't, you know, it's not something I've ever done. Um, so I, it was a tremendous amount of stress I was under. I just want to, you know, make sure everything was done right which I didn't know really what to do it was no like real rule or guidebook. Um, but that's just something quick I want to share. Uh, I'll make another video going into like what it's like to be a caregiver for someone who is very sick. Um, and just, just how hard it is. So from this video, just hopefully you learn, um, People are not rich because a person passed away. Sometimes people have debt because of that. Don't beg for the uh, deceased person's things. Oh, and I forgot to say, um, or even if you're wanting to buy it, don't ask for it at a discounted rate because that's, that's real tacky too because would you ask for that from the person? Would you have asked them if they were alive to sell you something at a discounted rate? And also just think about you or your family or your, you know, like if you pass away, you know, somebody's trying to buy your things at a discounted rate from your son or your daughter. How would you feel? Um, that's it for right now. Uh, I'll be coming back doing more videos. Thanks.